this is my review of Death Note. Okay, so in the last episode, I mentioned how Matsuro was kind of having um, have, was kind of having um insecurity issues because he hasn't really been contributing to the Kira investigation at all. And in this episode, he decides to do something about it, much to the chagrin of the rest of the task force. So he so it's so this episode frames the fact that he that all of the um negative negative um, slanderous remarks against him and about how he never really contributes anything to the case are starting to start to weigh heavily on Matsuro's mind and while um Misa is going is going out of, uh, on a foot and a um shoot with the real Hideki Ryuga if you guys don't remember Hideki Ryuga is the alias that L started using to trick light a long time ago we finally meet we finally meet him proper in this episode he's doing a He's doing a he's doing a movie shoot with um Misa, and while Misa begins arguing about the kiss scene be for obvious reasons, um Matsuro decides to take that ex exact moment to go and investigate the Yotsuba group since he can see their head office from where he's standing, and he realize and he realizes that he needs to con actually contribute something to the case, so he decides to go investigate, um on his own without any backup. Yeah, you can tell why this is gonna be a bad thing. So, meanwhile, um, s meanwhile, um, the task force is busy, is busy, um, working on the investigation still. And during, and while they're all investigating, Light is deep in thought, thinking about how, about how, about the possibility that he could be Kira, even though he doesn't think it's possible. He realizes that it could that he feels like it's possible that he could possibly have changed all that much and and it's interesting he no he doesn't know he's kira but he thinks that it's possible he could be kira it's interesting he's invest he's investigating his own he's psychoanalyzing himself without even realizing it and um l quickly realizes that um that um light is deep in thought and tries to pick his brain but then um but then it's revealed that um light and L tries to pick um, Light's brain, but that but before he can, um, um, they get a call from Watchery, pointing out that um, apparently somebody, apparently the Yasuba group is trying to investigate L using using another detective, and L knows that, and L pretty much figures out that this is in that is, is most likely a um, cl a clever um, ruse because as it turns out, this this second this detective is also L. Um, the first, so there are three, so there are three famous detectives, and they're all, um, and they're all L, which he mainly uses as a, as a security measure in case anybody tries to go against him. So, he ha- so yeah, he has two other aliases that he uses and poses as other detectives. Um, and that, and that they're actually trying to recruit the second most, most important detective. Um, the name doesn't really matter because it's a fake one. Um, so, but in case, but in case L now has all the evidence they need to confirm that it is indeed Yotsuba, and prepare and prepares to go infiltrate their facility. Um, meanwhile, Matsura has got wound up wound up in the first floor. He's climbing up the he's climbing up all the stairs, lit, trying to find any sort of lead that will help L and the investigation. And while he and as he's thinking of calling it quits, he actually hears two men talking about how there's a special meeting held on weekends and that it's about time for that. And and upon and upon discovering that it's actually on the 19th floor, Matsuro runs up the remaining flights of stairs to the meeting room and tries to and tries to eavesdrop on their conversation and glean any information. And he does. He finds out that they're actually discussing Kira. Um, but before he can actually get this information back to L, the door opens and he falls in and he falls into the room. And he and Matsuro, realizing he's been caught, immediately goes into his. I'm Misa Misa's manager, and I want you to represent her shtick. So, yeah, basically the way he tries to defuse the situation is by per is by doing what he was paid to be pretend to do, be Misa Amane's manager. And surprisingly, it works. Though the guards arrest him, they do they can't actually find anything suspicious on him. Although they are a bit suspicious of the fact that he may in fact not be who he says he is. Um, and, but, but as it turn but as it turns out, he had a backup plan and used a special switch on, um, his own belt to, on his modified belt to call L and the others, and, bas and basically put in a distress call, 
as Al is giving a briefing to the to the rest of the team on how they're supposed to go about doing their procedure so that they can actually get in the Yota group, which, and naturally, Al throws that entire plan out the window when he realized Matsuro ran off on his own and did something stupid, and is notably upset. But, but Al immediately comes comes to his aid, and, and while he's being investigated by the two, by the two guards, who, and Matsuro is very much aware that they're most likely discussing how to kill him, the method of, of which to kill him in the other room and realizes that he's on borrowed time but he has to keep stalling and as it turns out and, and immediately at that moment he gets a call from L um who poses out as one of as one of Matsui, Matsuro's drinking buddies and also using Matsuro's fake name so he doesn't get caught um and while the guards are listening and using very coded language L is able to determine that Matsuro is indeed in trouble and needs help so they begin to think of, an, of a way to investigate, and and sure enough, Light even calls up Misa to let her to let her know what's going on. And while she misses the message, she she eventually calls back after her shoot is over, and and is and is immediately informed of the situation by Light. Um, all while Matsura is stalling for for time until the task force can actually find a way to save him. But uh, but as it turns out, they do have a plan. They have Light basically to informs. It be, Light basically informs Misa of what's going on as Misa is getting a call from Matsura, and using that, they're able to actually, they're able to actually formulate a, lay a plan. Basically, Misa has to go along with what Matsura is planning and basically do what Light says so that they can actually get Matsura out of there. And it works, and it actually does work. She does have a plan. She shows up, uh, she shows up at the building. She, she shows her gratitude toward the, to the higher ups at the Yotsuba group. And then, basically, as a as a thank you, she recruits some of her modeling friends to come in and uh, give them some private some a private. Uh, well, 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 let's just say they get she entertain gives them some private entertainment. If you catch my meaning. Um, and as everybody and as everybody is distracted, Matsuro actually fleet goes to the bathroom. Um, and. And knows full well that um Mats and knows full well that the that they're not going to try anything while they're in the room since Al can since they all since Misa moved them all to the to her apartment in the in the task force headquarters, which means that she, that now Al is able to keep a close eye on the Yotsub group and the main and the main members and make sure that they don't try and kill Matsura. And it does work. Matsura Matsura is able to slip to slip away and give give a phone call to Al and informs him what he learned. That they are indeed working with Kira, and that they need to, and that they need to be very careful with dealing with these guys. Um, and I'll naturally thanks Matsura for the investigation, but realize that that um, Matsura is going to most likely be killed if he isn't careful. So he so he devises a plan to actually get Matsura out of there, while also making it so that Kira won't actually come after him later. And what happens is Matsura fakes his death. That's long and short of it. So. So here's what happens. Uh, Matsura, Matsura go, goes out into the room, pretending to be drunk off his ass. He wanders up, he wanders over to the um, balcony, does a handstand on it, and then purposely slips and falls into another balcony, use, which um, Sochiro has prepared with a mattress, so he not only won't get hurt, but will actually slide into the into the other balcony so that he's safe. And then and then immediately after that, Soichiro throws a large bag out of the wind out the window onto the ground, which which causes a large stud. And then Iber and Wed Iber and Wendy pose as the victim and a witness to the to the actual su suicide um, su uh, consecutively. So so basically, Iber pretend dresses up to be Matsura and pretends and pretends to be dead on the floor when in actuality he's not. And Wed Wendy pretends to have witnessed it and. Calls it and calls it in, um, and well, calls it in. But you get, but it's it's later revealed to be Ellen Light operating the ambulance. But basically, it works. The ultimate group, the ultimate group members realize that they're realize that they might be in trouble and that the press will get mad and will be on their ass if they're not careful. So they get the hell out of there. But thanks to but thanks to that, um, Al now has information, all the information he needs to actually investigate the ultimate group. And sure enough, has Weddy prepare over the next several weeks to hack into their security systems, and eventually Al is able to spy on, on, on their personal meetings using the security systems at HQ, so that they can actually keep an eye on the Ultima group and make sure that they don't do 
that they don't do anything shady while also investigating them privately in case one of them does wind up being Kira. So they basically does that. However, one of the one of the Yotsuba group members, one of the higher ups, actually has second thoughts and decides to back out, which which another one remarks is going to get him killed. And while he does say and while he does pretend to take it back, he realizes that there is no taking it back and he and he dies shortly after. And, and now there are seven, which the task force members so, seem to know. So, yeah, basically, basically thanks to Matsura's efforts, they actually did, they actually now have concrete evidence that, um, the, that they're actually, that the Yotsuba group is actually working with Kira and that one, and that Kira might be among them. And while I don't think he's exactly, um, made, made up the fact that he's, you know, an idiot, um, it does make, I do think that they have at the very least tried to uh, he has at the very least proven his worth and i don't think that the task force members are going to pick on him nearly as much so yeah that's the takeaway from this episode matsura basically uses matsura basically breaks into the yossi group and does some private investigating by himself which which enables l to finally have all the concrete information they need to actually start investigating um and also and also iber pretends to be the fake i didn't mention this in the review but iber pretends to be the um fake the fake um he v pretends to be one of the aliases that l has so that they can actually so they can actually pose as a private investigator which works so yeah over so yeah overall now l has full access to the ultimate groups on um, hq security cameras and now the task force is able to actually monitor them and figure out which one of them is kira so it's only a matter of time before the before the kira task force actually finds out which one of them is a third kira so yeah that's my review of um, Death Note. What do you guys think? Let's go discussing them in the comment section down below. Or over on my Discord server. Link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out. And you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that I'm always saying thanks. So, be sure to check those out in the description below as well. But in case, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.